Good morning, it's 7.13 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday, January 4th, 2019. Let's take a look at Litecoin. Okay, what's going on here? You see the, pre the buy pressure is squeezing down the red death mark, you know, the red death indicator. Uh, they're trying to push this price down. And uh, proof of key seems to have a positive effect, but the manipulators is still here. Might have stopped the exchanges from engaging in stupidity, but it hasn't stopped the manipulators from that. And you'll see at 3226 to 2500, I've been talking about. And let's go to the buy side. It's probably embedded here at 3150. Let's give it a bit. Uh, the next step I, I, I'm saying that needs to be done is you have to start calling these exchanges you trade on and start complaining about the manipulation, a phone call. What you tell them, you call them up and you tell them, hey, look, I purchased, I opened an account and I purchased Litecoin, Bitcoin, or whatever. And your user agreement says that I am protected from the risk of manipulation. I have lost money because there is manipulation. Here's where the manipulation is, what I showed you. You tell him, if you don't understand it, you go to my website and it's right there. He's called you dozens of times. Add my calls to the list. I am not going to be a victim to manipulation. I'm not going to stand there, get ripped off, and not say nothing about it. The calls have to go into the exchange. They have to be made aware. One person can't do this. Everybody needs to come together like proof of keys. You have to start calling these exchanges. Look, we know what's going on. We, we learned how to read an order book. We were taught there's manipulation going on. You show them the 2500 like I showed you. Be aware that you have to. It also changes every now and then. But it will still be the same market size. You've been told for about a year about this going on. We had enough. Are you going to comply and get and stop the manipulation on your exchange? And then after it's all said and done and you, you, you record the conversations, okay, you put them on a YouTube channel, you start sending links to everybody else that's doing it, and then when it comes time, they don't listen. After three months, we go get a lawyer and we start a civil suit. They, they obviously haven't learned that we're getting tired of the manip manipulation and shenanigans going on. Proof of keys was the first step. The second step is enough. if enough calls go to a DMO on the CFTC, they will come in and do something. But to tell you the truth, it needs to stop. They, they, they need, they need to, 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 to be brought to measure these people. Hey, there's a crime being committed here that's robbing us all. And everybody's just sitting there with their sitting on their hands. No, no, no more. That's it, it, it. Cryptocurrency wasn't designed for people to come in and sit on their hands. Okay, cryptocurrency was for, made for people to get involved and start fighting and, and breaking away from these people who do nothing but steal from people. They don't give you a fair shot when they manipulate the market. They're keeping the market where they want it, where they can get what they want. And they're telling you, F you, we're doing what we want. We have the money. We have the coin. We'll do whatever we want. And we don't give a shit about what you think. No, you got to open your mouth. You got to start fighting back. People need to start fighting back. Fight back. Start calling the exchange that you trade on and harassing them. That's... That's nothing compared to what's happening to you. You bought the coin at $30 today and thinking it's going to go up higher or $31. That's it. It's going to go up higher. And then they start freaking shorting it down again. This is what they're doing. They let it go up so they can short. That's the only thing they're doing. They're controlling the market. Now here, look, the 2500 is at $31.38. See it down here. 
Why should we have to be forced to trade within the price range by somebody else? If we think the coin's valuable and we're willing to pay more money for it, let us be. Leave us alone. But they won't leave us alone. You see, this is the other price. You see it here? He's, he, how close it is to the epicenter? He's trying to bring it down. These exchanges, you know, they think everybody's fucking stupid. There it is. You see the 2500? I told you you'd see it. It's a 3138, just like I said, who said it was. Now, how do I know that that trades there all the time? And no matter what the prices are, I know that that trade's always there. How do I know? Because it's a kettling trade. I expect it to be there every day. That's how you run a kettling trade. If you want to control the price, you have to put up a kettling trade on Litecoin. That's the method, a preferred method of use. Now look, you see it? 31. They won't let it go above $32. And there goes the other one, 31, 38. So they're playing in this price range. That's the price range they decided to let us have today. That's what it is. People who are manipulate and decide what the price will be. And then Coinbase doesn't want you to complain. And then you can see the books are loaded. The deck is stacked against you. This is like playing poker and the guy pulls out five aces. And then you go, wait a minute, there's only four in the deck. Oh, what are you talking about? That's exact. It's fair. Start complaining. Even if I get... A dozen of you to complain. I'm hoping to at least get a couple of hundred people to go on here. Just to call up and start telling Coinbase. Record your phone calls. Submit them to me. And I will post them up on YouTube. Submit them to my uh, Gmail. JohnRusso007 at gmail.com <laughs> Send it to me. I'm not afraid. I'll scan it with the virus scanner. I'll look at it. Or, or better yet, put it on your own YouTube channel. And then I'll link it to my YouTube channel. And then we'll start spreading this around. That's the best way. Create yourself a YouTube channel. Make yourself a video. Download it. Send me the link. Uh, send the link to me. I can even copy and paste it. This is from another user calling in. This is what we should all be doing is calling in and telling these guys to knock the shit off. We had enough. Now look at this. It can't be no more clearer than this that the market is, is stacked against us. You see 3138, 3199, same market size. And I keep telling people about this. It's the same market size because they're trying to cover up the, the, their effects on the volume by putting a positive and a negative. They're trying to wash it out. Okay? That's all they're doing. This is very simple. This is not rocket science. You see? 31.38 and 31.99. Now, I'm going to call them up and record the conversation today. But if you really want this to stop, everybody's got to start calling in. you got to start calling in these exchanges, recording it. Give them a couple. Send me the links. Give them a couple of weeks of uh, days of calling it in. You want this off. You tell them, I trade here. I paid money. You said there was no manipulation. There's manipulation in your order book. Here it is. I want it stopped. Why? Because that's the user term agreements. When I when I came in and, and uh, signed it in, uh, the user uh, agreement, you said that it wouldn't happen it happen at all. So now you put my money at risk, and you're not doing anything to stop it. Okay, and I lost money because you didn't do anything of your inaction. That's that's it. That's it. Start getting on and recording the conversation. Put it on YouTube. Send me the link. I'll connect it to my account. I might even run your uh, uh, your video on, on uh, YouTube and, and comment on it. This is how it's done, or you should have done this, you should have done that. And then you do another one. 
just so you cover, this is how you cover your bases. You're calling them up and you're complaining about it. And then when there's enough of us that are together where I'm commenting and posting your, your YouTubes and linking it to mine, and we got enough people, then we're going to turn around and begin a civil suit. We're going to give them fair warning. I have given them fair warning. I'm one person. I live in New York City. These police want 35%. I'm trying to not do it that way because I honestly want to try and recover my money and take it out of here. I don't want to give them one. I, I don't want to have to use one crook to get my money off another crook. So you can see it's clearly manipulated to 2,500. It's, it's, it's open for you to see now. And the closer it gets to the epicenter, the harder they're trying to, to pound it down, you see? They're trying to get the market to go down. What needs to happen is we need somebody with a lot of cash just to come in and snap up all the trades up to here and, and basically slap them in the face, give them a little shot. And, uh, and keep running it up before he gets it up there again. But in other words, if he's putting a fence in you in, in, in front of you, you gotta hop the fence before he puts up another one. So what we need to do is to start calling. If you're trading on Coinbase, you need to say, hey, look, we see the fraud. It's identified. It's been pointed out to you multiple times. I have reviewed the video, and I agree that this is fraud. This is a kettle and trade. Pick up. If you don't believe me, you pick a book. There's a book about this, The 28 Methods of Controlling the Market. And this kettle and trade is in there. A kettle and trade is very easy to identify. Because they put up this, he'll change the market size, but both on each side, on each side, but they'll both be the same. He changes it every now and then, as volume dictates. If he thinks the price is climbing and he's under threat that it will go past his wall, he'll make the wall larger. If if it if it does pass his wall, he'll remove the walls and let it run up. Then he'll put the walls back in and then bring the price back down. That's what he does. It's very simple. It doesn't matter how far the uh, the bull guy, whoever the bull manipulator, pushes it up, because he knows he's just gonna wait, 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 let this guy run out of his, you know, run his length, and then he puts it back in and brings it right back down. We shouldn't have to be dependent on manipulators to make stuff, but you can obviously see the 2500 is there to see. It's it's open today. It's clear. You see? 2,500. Right? That's on the sell side. 2,500 on the buy side. See? 2,500 on the sell side. What I'm telling you is the truth. Those trades have been up there. He never buys or sells them. Right? It'll hit his price where he originally puts those trades up. But they'll just keep moving them lower and lower if the price is going down. Because he's actually, you'll see those move before the price goes down. You see it moving now. It's getting closer and closer to the epicenter. He's using this method, the walls and the stacking, to get the price down. He needs to be kicked off. His account needs to be closed. He's a criminal. I don't understand. He's no better than Mark Carpless or any of these Jordan Belfort. If you're manipulating the market, you're a criminal. It's criminal activity. Why do people make light of it? Why is it like a big joke? No, it's criminal activity. People are losing money. Turn them in. That's what they deserve. That's what they deserve. Start calling. That's why nobody's doing anything. They don't have enough complaints and stuff. People have to get off their ass and start complaining. Start fighting back. He's bigger than us. We got to gang up on him. We have no other choice. The big guy who goes around has just walked down the alleyway because he's seen somebody he'd like to victimize. Now he realizes there's 10 people there standing in the circle around him that he victimized, and they got sticks in their hands. That's what's going to happen. That's the way it was done in the old days. And then guess what? 
the bullying reign was over. They got their ass kicked. This needs to be blown up huge, just like proof of keys. It, 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 we'll call this anti-manipulation day. All right? You got to start calling your exchanges and start, when you could see manipulation in the order books, start calling it in, start pounding them. This is part of proof of keys, anti-manipulation day. AMD, anti-manipulation day. We're starting that. Well, how about we call it AMM, anti-manipulation month. Spark the manipulation, start watching the books like I have, start pointing at the manipulation, you know, comment on it, get your YouTube, start yourself a YouTube channel, start sharing it with people who are like-minded like myself, we'll make an archive, we'll do it multiple times, we'll keep calling in, we'll go in on conference calls, what, see, this is what needs to happen, too. Yeah, we like to, yeah, the, the, we were on conference call with you. There's 10 traders here. We like to know. This is one thing I'd like to do. Instead of me calling myself, no, no, again, I'd like to have 10 of us on the conference call calling in and saying, hey, yeah, we, we trade we trade on Coinbase. We want to know why you guys haven't done nothing about the 2500. Mr. Russo's been calling, sticking his neck out on behalf of all of us. Now all of us, there's 10 of us on the phone. You tell us why those trades are there. He's been telling you for about a year. Now we're all concerned. We all agree with them. That's what we need to do. We need to get a couple of people every morning. We see this manipulation. We keep calling it and telling them about it and recording it. And then everybody give you account number and name. You put a shock into the system. Okay? That's what you got to do. We need to inject it with, with, with this type of things. Like, you, you guys want to be outrageous with the manipulation and not doing anything? Well, we're going to tell you what we're going to do. And all of you agree with me. If this isn't off by in 30 days, if the manipulation doesn't start, we'll go out and get a lawyer and we'll begin a civil lawsuit. But I need support. I can't do this myself. So all you people that subscribe and support my channel, start making your own channel. And start calling up, and then once we all get together, we'll form a posse, the anti-manipulation squad, the Rough Riders. And then we're going to do a conference call to them one day. We said, we're saving time. Why? We're we'll, we'll calling you once. This is my account. No, this is my account. This is my account. This is my account. But there's, there's 10 of us here right now, and, and, and they're going to listen into the conversation. Why? Because they they see the manipulation, they want to know that you refuse to do anything about it. They already see my videos, so this is just further proof before we sue you. That's it. And then then you have an ironclad. You had ten people calling you up, telling you there's manipulation, and then using what jury in the world's going to say? You have ten people on the phone line. They're telling you there's ten people. They're all telling you there's manipulation. One of them's been in the market for 20 years as a consultant, professional consultant. He's worked here, here, here. We verified everything. He's got nothing but good reviews. You got other people who worked here, 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 here. All you people who have finance backgrounds, you know, that, that are willing to stick your neck on the line. And they all see the manipulation and recorded it and shown it to you. And you've done nothing. There's no, there's no jury in the world that's going to go on their side. They're dead in the water. We'll win, hands down. You'll get your money back, plus you'll get damages. Plus, you know, whatever you lost, when you go to, you ask for double. They ask you why you wait for double for my grievance, plus my lawyer bill. Uh, you're paying it, not me. You're the one who dragged me to court. You could tell the judge they should pay everything. We've been fighting with them for over a year. We've been losing money. We lost a ton of money, you tell them. Now we want our money back, plus we don't shouldn't have to suffer paying this lawyer bill to get the money off of them. You try arbitration for them, they don't they don't move. I have the letters. They never even they never even reply. I tell them send me an email because I don't want anything uh, unrecorded. I'm sorry. You, if you want to, if, if they want to arbitrate with me, send me an email. 
don't call me and sit there on the phone and, and, and bullshit me and then hang up the phone. And then I, you just told me you were going to do something. Then, oh, you just did it to assuage me. And then you want to continue as before. You see, this is why you got to have it in writing. You can see now they're trying to manipulate this market down. They're trying to keep control of it to serve their purpose. That's what manipulation is all about. When it serves their purpose, they manipulate it so they make money, and you don't. So again, the manipulation is still there. Okay. Proof of keys might straighten out the exchange as far as what they do with your assets. But proof of keys aren't going to stop somebody from manipulating the market and Coinbase not doing anything about it. So um, Coinbase has a number, a support number. You can call them up. And I suggest you record it. You have to record it because they'll record it. And God knows if they, <laughs> the way these guys are, they won't edit it. Okay. So what you do is, is, is you call them up, you know, get yourself a uh, uh, a recorder on your computer, put your phone up on speakerphone, and say your name, you know, uh, your, your information, you might want to block that out, and then start to hold on, I'm going to record the conversation after after you give them the information to get on it, start recording it. Ask them, why is there two kettling walls up there for a year, and you guys haven't done anything, and it's been reported to you over here, so I question, well, I'm reporting it in. And then when we get enough people to make a few videos, submit, link them, put them in my comments. And then I'll go and look at your video and comment on it. And then when we get enough people, we go in and we're going to do a, what I call in a conference call calling. Look, I got 10 other traders on the conference line. We want to know why we're calling in every other day. And we see, we do it like for... A week we've been calling it. We don't tell them that there's 10 of us on the conference call line. We all record it. We all talk to each other. We're calling in. We tell them there's 10 other people on the line now. I want you to know you're being recorded. We want to know why you haven't done anything about the kettling wall. And let's see what they say. If they want you to identify yourselves, that's too damn bad. You don't have to. It's a conference call. Uh, I got you on conference call plus. They, they don't have to know your identity. I just tell them, we got you on conference call with 10 other traders. We know and confirm that this, the, 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 the kettling walls are there. Okay? Now we want to know why has nothing been done about it. And it's against the user terms. And, and we've lost money. What are you going to do for it? And then we'll go through the whole schmeal. We called you up. We sent files in. What else are we supposed to do? We ask for arbitration. We haven't gotten any reply. I sent you three arbitration notices. I got zero replies. I want I don't want a phone call when it comes to arbitration. I want an email. Who am I speaking to? Why? The terms and when to call in. That's arbitration. You don't need a lawyer for arbitration. If you go in front of the judge, the judge is going to send you off to a room and say, go over there and arbitrate and come back if you can't settle. Okay, that's the first part. I'm not going in front of a judge for no arbitration if you denied arbitration already to me, okay? Ar arbitration, I was acting on my own behalf as my own legal counsel, okay? So, you can arbitrate directly with me. There's no law against it. But you refuse to follow your own terms of agreement. One, once once that, that comes to a, a head point where you refuse to arbitrate with me, then I have every right to sue you. And you already refused to arbitrate me acting as my own legal counsel on my own behalf. We don't need to go to arbitration court for this. The judge can confirm that. With any judge confirmed, go over there in the side room and try to fix this on your own. That's what I'm trying to do right now, to skip that process. So when I go to the, in front of the judge in arbitration court after you refused to arbitrate with me on the half, and he says go into the side room, I'm going to say no. Why? Because I asked the firm to arbitrate this process of acting as my own legal counsel, where we all know that we don't have to go to court to go to that room over there and, and figure this out so it doesn't have to get to court. That's what I tried to do. Though their lawyers full know well about this, and they refused. And they tell them, no, no going to the room, directly to the court case.
and besides the mountain of evidence that is presented against them, they will lose. They will lose. You see, 2,500? 2,500. It's nakedly open today. You see? So what I need now is for my subscribers, you need to do a little work. And I'm trying to do it in the most cost-efficient way. The first thing you do is you start going over and, and my videos and say, I confirm what I say Mr. Russo is true. I see it here. I will call, and I'm calling it in now, right? I'm going to stop the recording here. But I, uh, I confirm. Now I will do my phone call. Do the phone call after you give the Coinbase your information, your account information. You go, excuse me, I am going to now record this conversation. You tell them. And then you put it on. You, you, you do the same thing I do. You keep it open, showing the the walls. And then you go to them. Well, there's two kettling walls. They've been up here for weeks. And all he does is change the market size. But he uses the same method to control the price. Mr. Russo's called in for about a year. Now I'm calling in about it now because I realize what he says is true. And I verified it myself. Now I want to know what are you going to do about it because I lost money because of this. And then post it. Link your video on my YouTube channel and I'll review it. And I'll put your name down as a contribute, you know, contributing to getting, uh, how would we say, anti-manipulation Monday. Or whatever you want to call it, we'll make a name up for it. We'll take it to the next step. After we get enough of viewers, we'll go to a conference call. Right? We're going to say, look, we've seen this manipulation. Ten of us called it in. Okay? It's all recorded. Here are the videos. How come he's done nothing? Then we take this to a lawyer, and that's the end of Coinbase's shenanigans. That's how you do things, people. That's how you do things. So let me put the video up. Hopefully I'll meet some of you guys and we'll get this out of the way. And we'll deal with these guys in harsh rebuke.